I was asked by Photolemur to check out Photolemur 3, their third version, the, which is actually the first version after Skyloom acquired the company. Keep in mind, I am a skeptic. I am always a skeptic about using artificial intelligence, really in anything. I do use it for transcriptions of videos, and I, you know, even Lightroom now has artificial intelligence in their auto feature. So keeping that in mind, in this video, you're going to see my impression on Photolemur 3. Coming up. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkivowitz, a storyteller with a camera, talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, we're going to walk through Photolemur 3. You're going to see just how easy it is, and if it does a good job editing your photos for you. Let's get to the computer. Okay, so here we are inside of Photo Lemur 3, and you can see that it allows you to drag multiple photos or just one photo on top of this application. You can even open a sample image if you want, which you'll see right here, it's detecting the image and it does this little before and after. Now I'm gonna start over, and I'm gonna, instead of dragging multiple photos, I'm gonna drag just one. But before I do, I wanna show you, point out that you can actually drag raw files too. I don't recommend doing that, but you could if you wanted to, you can drag pretty much any image type that you would be working with. Now I'm gonna drag this image and you'll see it does a little preview before you let go. It's detecting what is going on in the image and it's a person. And if I show you the before, here's the original image that I edited. This is out of Lightroom, it's some basic edits. And if I go to the after, you'll see a little bit of an enhancement. Now, if you look carefully at the suit, you'll see that the patterns on the suit are actually more defined, more blue. Same thing with the yellows and the blue of the tie is also more defined and more contrasty. The face has a little bit of touching up that has happened. You can see that the eyes have uh, been enhanced a little bit. Now, if I go up to settings, you can see that face enhance is on and eyes enlargement is on, which means it's actually enlarging and enhancing both the face and the eyes. The eyes are actually bigger in the after than they are with the before. Now that is all you really need to do, but you can go to this little retouch brush and bring down the, the sort of effect that it's adding, or you can bring it up all the way. You can also turn off the, the enhancements that you can up here in the settings right in here as well. And then when you're ready to go, you can just hit export and choose how you want it exported. Now, Photolemur was designed by people, um, a side project or something from somebody at Skyloom, and then Skyloom eventually uh, acquired Photolemur officially. So now Photolemur is a part of Skyloom, and Skyloom's artificial intelligence will benefit from Photolemur's artificial intelligence and vice versa, which is really nice. So there'll be some enhancements in the future. So this, that's it. That's all I want to show you is a basic uh, you know, overview of that. Now, I'm going to just start over real quick. Um, and I want to show you a batch of photos that are done. And these are going to be large, about 13 megabyte each images. And there are 12 of them. And I'm going to just drag them all and show you what happens with all of them. You can see it's loading each and every one, one by one, all of which have been enhanced. Now, if I go to this one, uh, you can see that there's a before and after. Look at the difference. Look at the, the background over here. You can see a big difference in texture. The colors are more pop, that they pop more. Overall, it's just a really nice job that it does on the images. And then again, I can go ahead and export all these to the disk. Very, very easy. Let's go to this one. You can see here. And here it's all done. You can see again, skin tones look nice. The background looks nice. Everything's just more colorful, pops more. So I actually think that Photolemur does a fantastic job for something that really requires no effort from the, the user. And it's, a, it's kind of weird to recommend. Oop, you can see there is kind of some bugs in Photolemur 3. Let's try that one again and see if that fixes itself. Nope. Yeah, so there's a little bug going on there. It, it happens. This one looks good. And yeah, so overall, um, I mean, besides from the slight bugginess that you just saw, on this one, uh, it's overall pretty pretty good. So you could really enhance your images fairly well. And it's weird, like I was about to say, it's weird as a photo professional photographer to recommend something like Photolemur. But for those who are just starting out in photography, for those, let's say, realtors who happen to be photographing their own photos instead of 
you know, hiring a professional photographer to do it like they should be, <laughs> you know, something like Photolemur could be the perfect solution to just make your photos look better than what they are. Uh, and, and again, you may not like what they're doing. You can reduce the effect and, and things like that. But, but overall, it does a really great job. And again, you can export them right to the disk, to Flickr, to whatever you want, right, to Facebook and so on, which is really nice. So I'm excited to see where Skyloom takes Photolemur from here on. Uh, I'm excited to see if they bring some of its enhancements to Luminar and to Aurora HDR. I'm sure they will. So good work, Skyloom, for Photolemur 3. Uh, and I look forward to seeing what's going on in the future. And again, there's a little bug right here. Sorry, guys. Found a bug. If you like this video, click that subscribe button below now. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible. You don't want to miss it. And be sure to karate kick <coughs> that notification bell.